Hello, and welcome to the Tucker and Crowley Report. We're part of News Now and the Belmont Journal, and Franklin Tucker, editor of the Belmontonian, is with us. So, Franklin, we have a number of things to talk about this week. Why don't we start off with there is a reorganization taking place um, in town government. That's right. It already took place. It's, it started on September fifteenth, uh, September fifth. Uh, it's a, an important change because it will. It, number one, it, it uh, changes how the town is going to uh, uh, plan for the future, and it's also a way of su- succession pl- uh, planning for uh, just down the road, maybe five, six, seven years, when uh, there's going to be some big retirements in town. Now, what's happened in the practical sense is that the Office of Community Development has been broken apart. And now uh, you have two uh, uh, distinct uh, entities that come from this. One is, is the Office of, of Planning and Building. And the other is that the engineering, uh, the, the engineering part of that uh, former Office of Community Development is now uh, a division within the DPW. Uh, saying that, that's not unusual. Most towns have their engineering department in the DPW. Um, but, but what this also did was um, this um, uh, revamping of, of these offices allowed uh, the town to um, find a, 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 a place for a town planner. We're, we finally got a town planner, for uh, which we've been missing for a long time. And his name is Chris Ryan. He's been for about 30 years. He's been in municipal planning. He's very good. He has a lot of experience in terms of um, uh, bylaw changes and things like that. So he's uh, something that um, uh, people in Belmont have been looking to do because we have a lot of this. It looks like we're going to have some major zoning changes in the near future. <laughs> um, <coughs> so um, one of the reasons why, of course, they did this is a six, a succession changes. Um, and that is because of uh, Glenn Clancy, who's the, um, the town engineer. And uh, his uh, uh, very good assistant, Ara uh, Ugarchanian. Um, I want to. Uh, I want to ask you, Franklin: Is is Glenn Clancy still remaining with uh, Belmont Town Government? Oh yes. I mean, he says he said that he's got, he's got nowhere to go, so he's going to stick around for a while. <laughs> so this is not like this is a, uh, he's being pushed out or anything. In fact, okay. he he was the one who initiated this. He said, "Look, okay. we really don't have anybody who is ready to take over." So now there are people who are going to be, you know, because of this, these changes, there are going to be people who are going to be hired and dedicated to basically be mentored by, by the senior uh, um, uh, employees and officials in town. So when the time does come, we will we'll have a seamless a, um, a transfer of, uh, of, um, uh, of uh, personnel. So this is a, a, a really forward-thinking uh, idea that came from Glenn Clancy. All right. Um, well, it's it sounds it sounds like um, uh, sounds like an interesting uh, uh, reorganization, and we will see what happens with that. Um, Franklin, I do want to um, talk quickly about just a brief wrap up of Town Day, which was last weekend. I yeah, know that's right. That- it, was, it was a fall Town Day. I mean, the second one in a, in a couple of years that we had during the fall, and both of them were were caused by weather uh, delays. Okay. And also COVID, um, but um, yeah, it was a fun time. It was sunny. Uh, um, a lot of people came out. In fact, I saw um, uh, so many, uh, you know, um, you know, town officials and people like that. It was a it was a good call. Uh, as always, it was time for the uh, uh, you know preteen and teen kids to run rampant through the town. <laughs> and they were running rampant. <laughs> That's right, they were. But it was a, it was a good show. It was something that uh, is always needed for the town, just to recognize that we have a lot of business in, in Belmont Center, and um, it, it it always turns out if it's a sunny day, it always turns out to be a good day. So I, I will mention Franklin that the the dunk tank, which was operated this year to the benefit of Belmont Helps, uh, uh, raised about eleven hundred dollars. Um, and um, I understand no. that that, pardon? And that's right. It was 1100 And guess what? It was doubled. That's right. It was matched by Ann Mann, uh, local resident and realtor. And so that's, that's great news. All right. So um, looking forward to town day next year. Um, let's talk about Franklin. The, uh, let's get an update on the municipal rink. Where do things stand with, with that? 
Well, the, the first, so some of the practical things, you know, um, the, the, I think we talked about this last week, some very practical things is that it's moving a f- further away from the, um, uh, uh, from the stands at Harris Field, uh, and that is because it's going. That's going to be where the uh, fire trucks are going to be going. That's going to be the fire lane. Uh, that we have a date for the uh, demolition of um, the uh, white the field, field house. house. That's right, and that's in October. And uh, but I think the most interesting thing was this week though was uh, when um, <laughs> the head of the uh, building committee uh, during the, their, their weekly meeting on, at, uh, on Wednesday uh, um, blurted out, well, we're in trouble. <laughs> when now, what, what did he mean like, by that? And, well, and are they really in trouble? Well, it's, it's not that they're in trouble. I think it was, tr- it was something that was troubling what they saw. And that was the first initial um, uh, estimates for how much construction is going to be. Uh, Skanska came back with uh, their numbers uh, from the information they received from the town. And uh, it was a, a substantial amount of money over what we were, uh, we were expecting. And if that money, you know, but you know, the, the, the town, the, um, the, the building project does have a contingency for, um, for um, um, the build for the construction contingency being money set aside for such a such a case, um, but if that happened, if we use that money, we would uh, that the the town would well the building committee would would have basically th- like thirty thousand dollars for the rest of the uh, construction for the eighteen months of construction. That's that's impractical. You, I mean, you can't so, even do so that. So what ha- so what happens from this point on then? Well, you know, it goes. It, everybody wants this building to be made. No, no one wants to, to to stop this building. So what's going to happen is is like mo- in most construction, um, both both sides are going to sit down at a, at a big table, have a few cups of coffee, and then go through the numbers and figure it out. So, and that's what 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 we heard from people who were at the meeting and, and from town officials. Wait till next week this is when we're going to get a better number. I think everybody was confused. I think there was not confusion, but there was like maybe no one really uh, was um, ready to, 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 to stand with their, their, with their number okay. solid. Okay. Okay. So, so, so in, in any case, it's, if there's, there's no final word on the project cost and there will be an effort to, 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 to rein in those costs a little bit. That's right. It's going to be one of those uh, meetings that you, you have that, and it's something that's in construction all the time. So the, it didn't seem to to bother um, uh, the, the construction crew or or many of the people who are in the building committee who who are in construction. I think they understand how the process works, and I don't think we're going to see a uh, a massive amount uh, on uh, this Wednesday. I think they're going to they're going to settle down with it with a number. Okay. And Franklin, you mentioned we have a date for the demolition of the field house for anybody who wants to make sure they see that building uh, again (laughs) before it's gone. uh, What is that date? I I, I think it's sometime in, uh, like I said, sometime in October. I mean, it's set. It's now, you know, they're going to, they're going to knock it down. All right. Well, if you want to see the, if you want to see the field house, Get out and see it before we get into <laughs> October. I think, right. I, think the, I think there was one thing that, that many people who uh, really appreciated the field house and used the field house is that there's a beautiful plaque of, for the person who who died in World War II at the Battle of the Bulge. Um, and that was a Belmont resident. And there's a beautiful plaque that's there. And, and that plaque is going to be uh, taken out. So it's not going to be destroyed with the rest of the uh, building. Okay. Do we know what happens to that plaque? Does it get reinstalled? Yeah, it's get, yeah, yeah it gets reinstalled into the uh, new building. Okay. All right. So, Franklin, um, it's time for weekend update. <laughs> oh, and then, then how sad it is. You know, there's a little bit of rain coming. And what's going to happen is that the townwide yard sale is going to be postponed for a week. Oh, I was ready to, like, you know, pounce on all these, you know, nice little, nice little shirts and, you know, um, um, you know, I'm becoming much more of a person who likes to go into uh, to yard sales and, um, and just putts around. So, you know, it's a, it's a little disappointing because there are so many people going to be out uh, this weekend. But don't be but don't uh, don't fail. Uh, there will be uh, the annual soccer night in Belmont on um, on Saturday. So we can see a lot of soccer. That's all going to be against Watertown. Our boys and girls are going to play against Watertown. 
And there's going to be a lot of little kids who are going to be working there. But it's also the final time at the current site that the Belmont, uh, that the Friends of Belmont Library uh, are going to hold their annual book sale. So get out there. It's a great way of finding. I've, I've picked up like, and I don't really look for, for antique books or pricey books, but I picked up books that, um, you know, have been worth like $300, you know, just at, got at it, the got library it. book sale. And you bet. Uh, a yeah. beautiful and you book didn't of, pay 300 for them. I paid like two. <laughs> so nice. it, was, it was pretty good. It was pretty good. So right, go well, to the book sale. Also go to soccer night in Belmont. It'll be fun. All right. Sounds good, Franklin. And uh, just a, a last thing to mention um, there, there is a public forum that the select board is holding on September 28th. That's next week. And, um, and, and, and this is why it's important. It's about uh, understanding the budget, but it really is. This is going to be the first time the town, along with uh, committees like the, the Warren Committee and, and other committees, are going to talk about the importance of an override. This is the, this is, this is the initial out-of-the-gate uh, meeting on, on why there needs to be to be an override, what the override means, what the, what the possible cost is. You know, they're not saying the town will not say how much they're going to do. And that's that's reasonable because they don't know what free cash will be until sometime in November. But it's the very first time the, the, the town is actually going to say, this is why we need a uh, override. This is how much, you know, this is why we need it. This is what, what, what the consequences are. Uh, but... Um, you know, and, and the consequences are, you, you know, uh, with the passage is going to be more money uh, in your tax bill. But if, if you don't pass it, th these are the consequences. So it's, 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 a, it's an important day. It's an important meeting. Uh, people should not, you know, uh, think that, um, you know, they can just, you know, wait until April and then go like, well, what's happening? You know, <laughs> this is the time to get out there and, and voice your opinion on these. Okay, and Franklin, um, effectively, um, because an override would be needed to avoid cuts for the fiscal 25 budget, this is also, in effect, the uh, beginning of the discussion of the FY25 budget. And uh, let me just mention that um, our viewers can watch that meeting on September 28th at 7 p.m. on Comcast Channel 8 and on Verizon Channel uh, 28. Um, uh, you can you can also um, attend the meeting, um, and there will be a Zoom link. Uh, there is a Zoom link that's been posted by the select board. So so look for that, and to be informed, please attend. All right, that's it. And uh, Franklin, we thank you. And you can find more of Franklin's reporting at Belmontonian.com. Be sure to watch us next time. We'll see you then.